Hello everyone out there. This is Susanna Olatunji Kamalafe on the Afro Caribbean Lifestyle and Achiever. Um, we are going to be listening to our program today. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, enjoy the program and just have a bit of music first before I introduce you to my guest today. Thank you. This is Susanna Olatunji Kamalafe on the Afro Caribbean Lifestyle and Achievers. I'm here at the Carbon Online Community Radio. Today you're going to be listening to our program and uh, we're going to be talking to uh, we have a very special guest in the house that we're going to have a conversation with I hope you're all going to enjoy this program today but before we introduce you to our guest today I'd like to listen to a few music to some music to get you started uh, enjoy the music It's supposed to pop, it's supposed to chill. Hey, baby, baby. As in where walk, supposed to dance, it's supposed to rock, it's supposed to flex. Hey, baby, baby. But don't you forget, yo, say no be my mind, yo. Always be thankful, all you wanna go do. But I know be crying, yo, to spend your money, but always be thankful, my Exactly. And it's so bad. It's so bad. It, it not only 
you know, are these two women? They're even making it public. I, I don't think these women do consider their kids at all. Because if they put into consideration yes. that most of them, they have adult kids. And they're all on social media. They have friends in schools. They have their own social environments. Mm-hmm. They don't want to see their dad mm-hmm. and mom. Uh, uh, pictures mm. on the on the websites that they're having sexual relationship, mm. uh, especially when people know that they are married, and I just think even exactly. that, yeah, you know, there's a lot of more moral societal um, standard that we need to meet up to in our environment, mm-hmm. um, and I respect so much from African women because we come from a very cultural background, uh, whereby you as a woman you know quite all right that. The moment you sign up that agreement into marriage, um, mm. you can't say because my husband is choose to have be with another woman, I have to publicly choose to be having a relationship with her, with his friends and everything. Um, and I think sometimes, you know, when people mm. have relationship with their husband's friends or the husband is having a relationship with their wife's friend, it's always about conveniency because it's easy for them to access mm. that environment. Um, uh, I, I know some, uh, yeah, look, in courts, courts and on courts, I, I, I can say men, I'm not saying men are allowed to have a relationship when they are married, but it is a known fact, mm-hmm. especially within our own en- environment, within our own cultural upbringing, our uh, mm-hmm. men do have more than one wife or they have relationship outside their marriage. Uh, even our forefathers, they did that. But women have never been, it is not something that has, is acceptable to you as a woman. Uh, and I know this mm-hmm. is, we're trying to claim equal, that we are equal to men. But I'm telling you, I'm a woman and I fight for women and I, I have fight for the cause of women. I still feel that we're not as equal as, we're equal as women being. But we're not equal in making decisions like that, you know? Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm so happy that you brought that up, which is um, something that I think a lot of women actually don't understand. There's a difference between, you see, when we talk about um, women's liberation and... Um, um, equality, like, yeah. <clears throat> Look, equality is different from women's liberation. It, it, we're talking about when, when some women are out there, they don't, they're, they're not really getting it. When most women come out like to say, okay, um, they're fighting for, you understand? What we're talking about in terms of equality, in terms of our jobs, to, when a woman is a doctor and a man exactly. is a doctor, you, you get paid the same thing. You understand? You're an engineer, you, you get paid. And the way we're treated as human mm. beings, you understand? You don't treat, you don't treat um, a man more... Uh, superior than a woman yeah but in terms of liberation like the lib- the way we live as a man and a woman there's a hundred percent difference there you can't say because a man goes around um uh, but probably a man goes around and sleeps with different women and that you do it it's like what we it's like what we say, like say we, we're together in a group now and yeah say, okay, if we ask a woman how many men have you slept with you understand mm. a man a man can say he slept with 200 women women and, and to to him a lot of people will see it as, as an achievement they would hear him and it wouldn't be anything yeah if a woman said she slept with 10 men oh uh, uh, that would be like a disaster you know <laughs> it, it, that's going to be a big disaster so let's let let's be let's let's be be be, be real here you understand mm. i mean and for us women we, we tend to forget that looks you know there are certain things that our body does not allow allowed a, a man will not get pregnant if they sleep with ten thousand women exactly. but you as a woman you can get pregnant and uh it can affect your body if you think okay i can get pregnant and get rid of it but still it affects your body anyway as a woman uh which is different from a man you understand what i mean Mm-hmm. You know, you know. So it's, that's why you see sometimes um, you see some women like this, or you know, and if for and for us women, it's very easy for us. Like when we have a man in our life, and some women would like generally just speak to one man. Yeah, and, you know, of course for uh, um, when it comes to sex and all them things, women would like. I would. I, I don't really support the idea when they say, "Oh, it's the man." DNA to cheat, which somehow, somehow, if you want to look at it, there's a symptom of truth there. Yeah, look. See, even for like a, look, if a man does um, it, a man does it, he yeah. doesn't have, like, it doesn't have a letter, I mean, it does have effect, don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, it's but not, not the, and in terms of health-wise, but it doesn't have the immediate effect. effect the same way it will have for the taboo, it has for a woman. And that's yeah. Most women don't want to like deal with it. 
it. And I think you know, eh, what a man, you can't come here and tell me that what a man, because a man is something you want to do with it. Stand. You can't. Look, look, let me say one thing even. If you're single, you can choose to exploit sex whichever way you want to exploit it. If you're a single woman, you can exploit okay. it wherever you want to. It's up to you. It, it depends on how moral you are when it comes to uh, sharing your intimate moment with a man. But if you're married, I just don't see. I think it's no go area at all. It's just no go area. Mm -hmm. It's just no go area. Mm -hmm. For example, I've seen a lot of Mm -hmm. married women. These days, eh, I'm telling you, you need to actually call your parents and sit them down and ask them, are you sure this is my father? Because a lot of marriages, men start finding out that most of those children, they are not theirs. They are from... That is that is why we said it's it's even if it is you are equal that is the difference. Yeah, uh, for like that is the difference between if a man have a relationship with ten women, but if you as a woman is having it, that is the effect that it can have. You end up giving a child to another man that doesn't own the child, you know. And and I just don't like the. That's another thing again. That's yeah. that one. That that one. Because if we want to go into that, we probably wouldn't finish. <laughs> and that one is such a sad, sad. Oh, sad, sad. I, I'm. Yeah, I'm you no, know, thank God for DNA and you know, you know. Do you know that even in the past, a lot of men actually discovered that the women that they're supposed to even marry, it's women that probably they jilted, women that they thought were not good, you know. Yeah. They thought we were not like of good standard. For exactly. Men, you know, like those women they were good. They wanted the more educated, classy women. Some of them even ended up having kids with those, but maybe one or two, one children, you know, and they dumped them and probably went for the high class women only for them to be finding out all of all sort of rubbish now some, some men are fathers to five six children who are not even who, they, are, they are not even theirs at all in any so way I, a, I heard a story this one is not you know, you know that before i even heard the story before i you know, i heard that story then before i met that um, um uh, couple i those days back back home in time, i remember something happened i used to have a friend there you understand um, mm. she's a friend of a friend of another friend it's it, it wasn't like a direct friend but so that yeah friend there, there I used to, where I used to work, I worked, you know, um... In an environment like, anyway, yeah, yeah. Like, mm. Where I worked, mm. I met that, this is my, this is my girlfriend, you, mm. stand, you know. You know, so, <laughs> this, my daughter was not telling me about her friend, you understand? Mm. So, every time they say, you know, that her friend, you know, drives a car, and I was like, come, this girl at this age, why is she, like, oh, she's young, how does she get the money to drive this car, blah, 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 you know. And it's not as if she's from a rich family or anything. You know, at that time, I didn't know her story, so that yeah. I was not telling her, ah, no, because I knew that, um, she did, she, I, you know, she now, she now told me the girl story, she said, ah, see, oh, that this is what happened, that you know that this girl was born as an, um, outside wedlock, you hmm. understand, that her father and her mom, you know, used to know each other when they were, when they were young, young. and things like that, you understand, so one thing led to the other, uh, to the other, she, the woman got pregnant, but that guy is from a well-to-do family, you, you know, yeah. you know, ahead, so, but the parents of the guy, you know, actually didn't want him to like you know you know to to be with that girl exactly Mm -hmm. so so they actually separated them so that girl actually found out that she was pregnant blah 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 blah. and the the mother uh, the mother to the guy actually put his she she actually said no there is no way her son was going to be with that guy you understand yeah the mother of the 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 guy actually pressed every button to make sure that girl and her mom left the area Mm -hmm. so so they relocated back to somewhere in the show so that woman single-handedly brought her her daughter up in the stand, sent her to school, did everything. So this guy went ahead in the stand and married another girl in the stand, you know. Meanwhile, they said he dated that girl that he married in the university, blah, 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 blah. So this girl, too, apparently, was after this guy because of because he was from a rich family. Yeah. And she had another guy that she was dating mm. and then, only for her to get pregnant for this guy and they did wedding and blah, blah, blah. And that was it. You know, you know this guy who had five children with his wife, mm. you know, and all the five children belonged to the guy that the girl was dating before. Before even getting married. You know, so before even getting married. Wow. But but the unique thing there was that she, this guy, you know, Sam, was married to his wife for about three years before they had kids. You know, okay, so luckily for so, him, he had a child before. Uh, so, no, he, he, he had a child before, but before they had kids, you understand? Know, mm. And at a point in time, they said he was sick. You know, during um, it, 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 I think before they had kids, you understand? Yeah. So they said the guy was sick at one time. I don't know what happened when he had an illness. You understand? Mm. It was very, very serious. You understand? And it was wasn't for it was like sick for over a year. Yeah.